This is how I attach granny squares using the whip stitch. And for this part, I am going to work the horizontal line. I already worked on the vertical lines in the first two parts, and now we're going to finish off our corners. Now, the beginning of this, I did the same way as I did in parts one and two, but this is the last double crochet for the granny squares. And then I'm going to work into the first chain on the corner. Now, those chain loops have already been worked into once, so they're going to already have yarn feeding through them. But this is going to ensure that there are no gaps in the center of where they're attached. It also helps with aligning them um, so that the border that you saw in the last part is still, you know, making a cross or a very nice grid. Now that big yellow knot you see in the center there, that is where I attached the matching color to the contrasting color from parts one and two. In hindsight, I probably would have done it the other way around and made the knot blue instead of yellow. If you run out of yarn for sewing, you can use the magic knot, and I have a video on that, you can use the magic knot to connect the pieces, or you can leave some tails and then just weave in those tail ends and that'll keep them in place too. I prefer to use the magic knot just because it doesn't come undone and it doesn't unravel and I don't have to weave in any ends. But in hindsight, I would have not made it yellow. This is what it looks like when it's sewn together. You have the border from only working into one loop, and it makes a nice little grid. And in the next method, I'm going to be using the invisible seam.